What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So yeah, for today's video, kind of different setup. Got a bimba, got a conga, got a tumba. We're gonna make some nice little tunes using this kind of setup. It's gonna be kind of different, but I think you're gonna love this kind of exercise and you gotta love it. You already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button just to find out whenever I upload. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the, just the love and just welcome me, me back with open arms. Just, ah, I miss y'all, love it. And we're gonna keep on making these videos, man. And today's video is a video that I've been trying to do because oftentimes I get questions, especially with the Moperk Bingba, how they can incorporate it in uh, with just a normal setup. And I actually used it um, in a clinic I did last year in Delaware, and I'm trying to find the picture, but I basically had it to the side. And what I'm doing is I actually have it set up on a Mino Djembe stand. Yeah, so uh, it, it works. I don't know, it works for me, uh, keeps it sturdy. I just have it kind of set up that way where it, it allows me to be able to extend that way. I've used this a couple times, especially on some smaller sets and some smaller gigs where uh, maybe I don't want, uh, you know, just maybe one drum or two drums, or I'll just have just these two. And it will allow me to just add a different element just to kind of show you how I have it sounding right now, just so you could hear it. Yeah, very, very unique. I love the bingba because it's like a between a djembe sound and the conga sound. It's it's kind of hard to, to pinpoint that sound and you can really tune it from, from many different places and different ranges and uh, I just think it fits. But I did want to kind of show a pattern. You can use this as an exercise that uh, can help you develop your independence and also has a nice little groove to it. And you'll see how I'm doing something here and also something just constantly on this side. But yeah, let me show you this little groove exercise first and then we will break it down. Got to love it. But yeah, let me show you what I am doing. And again, you could try to do this if you have three congas. Uh, you could definitely try to do it on three. Uh, the technique is very similar, of course. Because this is at an angle, your hand placement may need to adjust. But you could definitely do this on three drums. And uh, But it won't sound the same. Because if you notice, that just first hit is just... <laughs> You, you, you gotta love, you gotta love these acoustics in the bass, in the lows, you gotta love it. All joking aside, if you notice, there is a lot of independence going on here and it creates this groove, this pattern. Not sure what it's called, um, I've heard it before. If you know what it is, please comment down below. I've heard it um, in more, I would say like, you know, Middle Eastern kind of patterns in Asia. Um, I've heard that kind of pattern. It also has some fusion with merengue and uh, just a lot more folkloric patterns um, in the Caribbean. But uh, yeah, I, I thought this was just a cool groove and exercise that we could try out. But yeah, to kind of break it down, just to show you, I'm going to show you basically what I'm doing here and also what I'm doing here and then how we could blend it together. And then once you see, 
you know, them individually played, you're gonna be like, man, that's very, very simple. Um, it is, but the hard part is just putting it together and finding that, I would say like that, that trigger part, that cue where you know all parts meet to help you play it smoothly. But what I'm doing with my non-dominant hand here on the bingba, what I'm doing is a base and finger and then an open. Uh, but what I'm doing with the second base and finger with that open, what I'm doing there, it's just a slight change in the accent and timing. So there's some, I would say some hesitation, some delay. So to kind of just play what I'm doing with my non-dominant hand, it's gonna sound like this. Yeah, that's that's basically it. That first hit though is actually landing on the time. And that second hit is actually, you know, just a hit later after that. So that's basically it. And now on to the dominant side, and this is all I'm doing here with my dominant hand is an open on the tumba, a close slap on the conga and then open on the conga. So all I'm doing is this. Yeah, that's all I'm doing with my dominant hand on the conga side. And if you see, you could hear the accent, especially from the close slap to the open, going back to the tumba. It's like, doom, ba, da, doom, ba, da, doom. It's just simple as that. Also, do you hear how good this Tropical series is? Yeah, especially now that they're kind of broken in. Unbelievable. Most affordable set you can get from Oprick, y'all. Just letting y'all know. So how do we put this together? And this is where we're gonna do things step by step. Now we know what we're doing here. Now we know what we're doing here. Now we're gonna try to blend it together. So this is the best place that I found that you can try to, you know, understand where all these parts meet. And that's that very beginning. In that very beginning, when you're gonna do that bass on the bingba with your non-dominant hand, you're also going to be doing the open with your dominant hand on the tumba. So it's gonna sound like this. And if you notice what I'm doing with my non-dominant hand, I'm actually already setting myself up to do the next part because what follows is going to be the finger that you're gonna do with your non-dominant hand on the bingba. But then I'm coming now here with my dominant hand to do the close slap portion of this. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together, And then to finish the first half of this pattern, what I'm gonna do is that open that I do with my non-dominant hand on the bingba, and then an open that I do with my dominant hand on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. To put that together. So now this next part, the second half is where people would get confused because you would want to just continue doing that pattern, but there's no accent to it. There's no dynamic or, or life in that pattern or groove. And it doesn't really help you kind of develop independence because you want this to kind of go by itself. You want to start this doing something else to accent or to improvise. And this is a way to develop that. So what you're going to do is you're going to do an open on the tumba with your dominant hand. And after doing that open, you're going to do a bass finger movement really quick. So not with the same flow, but it's going to be bass finger. And then you're going to do a close slap, that same close slap that you would do with your dominant hand on the conga. So it's going to sound like this.
yeah that's the hard part and then to finish that you're going to do again the open that you would do on the bingba with your non-dominant hand and then an open with your dominant hand on the conga so to put just that second half together it's going to sound like this Yeah, that's, that's really, really groovy. But to put both parts together, and we're gonna land to end just to this part of the demonstration, we're gonna land at the beginning just so you can see how it kind of grooves together. It's gonna sound like this. Simple, y'all. Simple, simple, simple. But man, it just sounds so good. All together, let's play it all the way through. It's gonna sound like this. Yeah, it, it sounds kind of Brazilian. Yeah, it has some, man. I don't even know what it is called. Please, somebody help me. Yeah, I love this. I love this. But if you want, again, rather than doing the bass all the time, you can do maybe two opens. Again, make it your own. Have some fun with it and explore different tones that you can do to kind of spice up just an exercise like that. Yeah, have some fun with it. Take your time though. But to count it slowly, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. y'all really do hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's kind of different and i know the majority of you probably watching this don't have a bingba but you could replace it with a djembe or replace it with another conga or if you want be creative put some bongos up here just add the tones just change it up a little bit be creative man these kind of exercises really do help you out and these kind of exercises add a different groove you know to it but again it's meant for you to develop your independence and really grow from there but please take your time put it on a metronome play it slowly get those tones nice and crisp and you'll get it but all right y'all you already know what to do like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day